Welcome back to the channel, guys. Been a little bit. So quite the year it's been, and been quite a while since I've seen you guys through this medium. And I really want to ease myself back into it. I can't wait to do a few of these I have planned now. But I want to start with something simple. And something that not only is simple, but can also make a difference in some of the upcoming bigger matches we have here at the end of the year. Most notably, Land Run being the new national championship. I think a lot of people coming from all over that's never been there can benefit from stage walking tips. You know, stage walking I see is something that is one of the most overlooked forms of preparation. It's either people don't do it, or you see a lot of people that might stage walk in a way that could be adding bad habits to your actual shooting that you may not realize. So let's just jump back in this deal and go over here, break down how I like to walk stages. So our first tip is pretty simple. We wanna get your stage booklet. We're assuming you're shooting an annual match. Get your stage booklet, read, understand it. You know, something like this stage here behind me, what we're gonna use for our example today, gives you tons of options. There's lots of ways you can ride a stage like this. We have vertical props, we have places you can lay your guns down at angles, we have lateral movement and we have downrange movement and you could utilize all those things in one stage. So there's probably a lot of different ways that you can shoot it based on how it's written. Best thing to do, make sure you understand it so you can game plan to the best of your abilities as well as not cause ourselves procedurals or problems. Number one way to prevent that is to ask, don't assume. We always ask, make sure that if you don't understand it, that that is okay to do or not to do. So super simple. I say this because I'm guilty of this too. I do a lot of assuming. So <laughs> um, with that, let's look over here and uh, see how fast we need to shoot our targets. All right, so the first thing that people see when they walk up to the stage, they're looking for the targets. They wanna know how big, how close, how far, how small. Um, are they up, are they down? Where are they at? You know, how fast are we gonna shoot this stage? And through stage walking, you should absolutely determine your shooting speed here now. And we determine that from how our targets look. You know, we wanna make sure that are they, you know, big and close? Are we gonna run it at a certain rate? And we wanna know what that rate feels like. So we'll talk about that technique in a second, but make sure we're looking for other things too. We want to look for, does the target blend in? Does it hide behind another target? Is it getting too close where you can skim it? You know, make sure we're setting ourselves up for success from wherever we're shooting our targets from. Uh, sometimes I've had targets that have really blended into the background one step over from where you might want to shoot. Instead, just take that extra step and now that target separates from the background better and or off from other targets. So you don't have an issue with maybe nicking one next to another. As well as um, you might run into some things where maybe you have sight movement that's really different. And you can't just look at that and say, oh, I'm gonna run that in two seconds, three seconds, four, five, whatever it is. So what I do to determine my shooting speed is I'll come up here and let's say I have to shoot my rifle from here. Say so I'm gonna shoot it from here and gotta go here vertical. So I'm right here looking at these targets and if I have a brass picker with me, I'll use that or a pen or pencil. I don't have anything in my hand, so I'll use my thumb. And I'll stick my thumb on that target and I'm gonna do our little air shooting technique we do. And I'll do that with the pistols, pretend I'm shooting pistols, my shotgun, as, as well as my rifle. And if I can't keep that object or my thumb really pinned to the center of that target while doing my air firing technique, I'm probably not gonna be able to shoot my rifle that fast. More than anything, I'm really catching a feel for what it looks like to look down at something, align something while getting a rhythm or a tempo. And this really, really helps you in determining what the feel is like as shooting at speed here. Now, that speed is also what we wanna determine first because it factors in so many other things with like how we transition, how we move. And speaking of movement, that's other than target placement is the factor in where or how we stage your guns. So for that tip, that's just how we determine shooting speed. And let's jump over here and talk about stage moving. All right, shotgun. One, two, one, two, one, two, and down. Now, stage movement. 
one thing that I want to do in stage movement, or one thing I always do, is I move through the stage like I'm actually shooting the stage, you know, full speed. This example here is perfect because I've got six shotgun targets out here and I have a free reign of uh, 10, 15 yards of movement. And I want to determine where I want to be throughout that. Do I need to speed up my natural movement a little bit? Do I need to kind of slow it down? Sometimes you got to move a little bit slower to position yourself exactly where you need to be to hit your targets and end up at the end where you want to be. As well as uh, moving at the full speed can help you find issues on maybe taking a corner and it wants to hook your pistols. Or maybe you have to take a shotgun with you somewhere and you're trying to go through a doorway or window and you know you realize like hey this thing's narrow or i can't see the targets well from this side of it i need to get to the other side and you can find that easier with uh, your natural movement you know where do you need to position yourself to get in and out of the next position better so that next tip move through the stages like you're going to shoot the stages this is also going to help you determine you know how you're coming into your guns and where to stage them sometimes it's better to stage your gun a little further away because that one little step over is more natural, gonna put you right in position to shoot at the targets better or get that gun rolled up better. You know, in and out of the gun is more important than just your gun speed. So move to the stage like you're gonna shoot the stage. And I also try to keep in mind, now this is something we're gonna talk about in other videos, that your movement does affect your shooting speed too. So let's say if I didn't have to shoot these targets here and I had to run just straight down to shoot those pills targets, I'm running as fast as I can. When I get down there, like my adrenaline, my nerves, everything is up high, and you have a tendency to shoot a lot faster than maybe you want to. Now those are pretty good sized targets. I'm gonna haul on them. But let's say they were five yards further. I wanna slow down a little bit. Let's say they were half the size. You know, I might slow down a little earlier coming into my stop to kind of bring myself back down to level and shoot those targets more uh, consistently and at the speed that I would like to versus that little heightened state I'm in after really pushing my run. So sometimes your shooting speed can affect your moving speed. Stage walking in a way like you're gonna shoot it can help you find how to match those up and what feels right. This way you can visualize your stage better when you're at the loading table or getting your guns and ammo around, wherever it is you're doing your visualization technique or thinking about the things you need to do. So. Go back to keeping it simple. <laughs> Second tip, move through your stages like you're gonna shoot your stages. All right, winding down to the end of the stage here and our video. My last tip is more of a what not to do. I don't like to really end on that note, but ultimately we don't want to instill chaos into our stages. And so many times I've seen people walk stages very erratically or kind of, um, I hate to say it, but maybe half-hearted. So you come up here and you say, okay, you know, two shotgun, but boom, shot, pistols. Okay. I, I really want to feel what it's gonna be like on that stage. So I'm gonna do full motions. I load my shotgun, one, two, I shuck, set it down. I'm gonna have to drop my hips a little bit and then come out and push on the target. If that matters, because let's say this was a really short table. What's that gonna be like? Well, I need to shoot. I'm gonna have to really drop down. I'm not just gonna throw that shotgun from here, <laughs> at least I won't. I wanna really drop down and then I can draw as I'm coming up. I'm not gonna be able to draw because I'm bound up when I'm down. I wanna feel what that feels like here. And there's so many other situations that can be um, fixed or seen beforehand by making sure we're going through the motions and completely. I know they feel weird and you, some people have told me I don't wanna be that guy, but. We spend a lot of money on this sport to try to shoot the best we each can. There's no reason not to come out here and give yourself the best opportunity by just going through the motions and getting good feeling stages kind of um, planned out before you actually get out there. Now, the other thing we don't want to do is I see somebody gets, comes out here and gets overly aggressive. Man, they're excited and they go, all right, two shot, getting my pistol went into it. So pop, pop, and pistol, pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, wow, you know, we got some fast shooters in the sport. Don't get me wrong. But for me, that's extremely chaotic. And I want to feel what I want to feel out there on the stage. I know adrenaline's gonna take care of that speed. So we don't want to instill chaos into our stage by making just crazy erratic movements. So make sure we're feeling what we wanna feel. You know, move through and shoot the ideal stage in our walkthroughs or our run-throughs. You know, we're gonna run the stage and find those issues, find the problems, set ourselves up for success and where we stage our guns, 
the speeds we shoot and how we move through the stage. So yeah, I think I'm, I got this right. Last, last tip, don't instill chaos into your stage. So with that guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video, or better yet, I'd like to see you out here on the bridge. We'll see you around.